In this video, we're going to learn about RC bandpass filter using theory and experiment. A bandpass filter allows only signals within a specific band of frequencies to pass through while blocking others. If you look at the circuit over here, you can see that our bandpass filter consists of two filters, high pass filter and low pass filter. On the input, we have a capacitor. In series to it, there is a resistor and it's forming a high pass filter. On the other side, we have a resistor and the capacitor on the output. And when we combine these two components together, we get a low pass filter. These two filters, they have a cutoff frequencies at which the signal is going to be attenuated by 70% or minus 3 dB. And using this formula, we can calculate the cutoff frequency. If you look at the frequency response of the bandpass filter, we can observe that between certain cutoff frequencies, the signals are gonna pass through, the gain is going to be constant. However, when we are outside of the cutoff frequency, it means either at this area or this area, the signals are going to be attenuated and when we get far away from the cutoff frequency, the signal is going to be much attenuated. Uh, much attenuated. Now we are going to build the circuit on breadboard and we are going to observe the frequency response of the bandpass filter using an oscilloscope. I built the circuit on the breadboard, our bandpass filter, which consists of a high pass filter using the capacitor on the input, following by a resistor which is connected to ground, and the other resistor is connected to the junction between the first capacitor and first resistor, following by a capacitor on the output. I'm gonna connect the I'm gonna observe the input and output signal using my oscilloscope props. So I'm gonna connect the first one on the input. Our input signal is gonna be sine wave. This goes to ground and the other prop I'm gonna connect it to output to observe the output signal. Perfect. Now we are going to observe the signals on oscilloscope and let's see how the signals would change whenever I change the frequency. Here we are on oscilloscope and signal generator. My input signal is a sine wave, yellow signal, which has an amplitude of 5 volts, starting at the frequency of 8 kHz. So we remember that our cutoff frequency for our high pass filter was at 16 kHz. It means that anything below the cutoff frequency is going to be attenuated and anything above the cutoff frequency is going to be passed through. So now we are getting signal attenuation until we reach our cutoff frequency, which is at 16 kilohertz. So I'm going to increase the cutoff frequency. I'm sorry, our frequency from the signal generator. Now we are at 16 kilohertz. And now we are going to get the gain of 0.7, the ratio from output voltage to input voltage. So if I divide them together, 3.4 divided by 5.4, we get a gain of 0.63, which is not that bad. Now we are in our bandpass area. So until we reach the cutoff frequency of our low pass filter, the gain must stay constant. So I'm gonna start to increase the frequency. 26 kilohertz. 20, I'm sorry, 36. Let me just adjust it. Our cutoff frequency for low pass filter was at 72. So I'm gonna stay on this frequency. And now we have to get a gain of 0.63 or something like that something near to it so now let's divide 3.4 to 5.2 we get a gain of 0.65 
which we can say that we we have we were able to keep our gain constant 0.2 difference doesn't make, doesn't make uh, that much change and it the result was okay now i'm going to go outside my bandpass area i'm going to increase the frequency until the signal is going to be fully attenuated so let's turn off the input signal okay so let's do it like this input signal is on so i'm gonna start increasing the frequency i'm gonna do it 20 kilohertz at a time now 100 kilohertz and as you can see now when i turn off the input signal the signal on the outside is attenuated because we are outside of our bandpass area and we say that bandpass filter is going to reject the frequencies outside of this outside of its area and the area was at 16 kilohertz to 72 kilohertz so that was the whole idea with bandpass filter i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you enjoyed it please give me a like and do not forget to subscribe my channel thanks and have a good day